Greetings, Paul. Allow me to introduce my former self. I am or was William James Demarest. Named after my father and sharing the name of the old-time actor William Demarest, who played a role in the movie, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World. He was a great uncle. I have been estranged from my family for so long they are not relevant in my actions taken. They never really knew me. This is not a suicide note to begin with, perhaps a testimonial. What has occurred in your county where you are the constitutionally elected and the most powerfully elected law officer in Highland County? FL, and I'm sure you will do your duty in investigating a gunshot. This, as you may know, is none of my concern now. I would just like to say, all those playing a role in my life are just innocent pawns as God has placed me in their lives. I'm sure you will have them treated with respect as they are just trying to get by in a world that has gone evil and mad. Now, we come to Chad, searching for Mr. Wright on Doral Avenue. He was my cover in a safe house and bit of a hanging Chad. I was safe there such that he and his ex-wife Stacy are both armed security and caring for their 14-year-old autistic son, Tyler, with at least five cameras on site. The last thing that man needs is more stress in his life. On the day he agreed I could move in, he asked me if I had any guns, and I said no. Shortly after moving in, I decided to have a come-to-Jesus moment with him and told him of my felonious past, which he took well in stride having been a Kansas City police officer in the past. One of the good officers not wanting to destroy a person's life over petty BS. The reason I am telling you all this is because if sheriffs pull up and start asking him about a gun I used to end my life, he would probably jump for joy as he was doing when his team won the Super Bowl. I am not looking to besmirch him, but he is a spiteful, petty man-child and I hold no malice in my heart for him. He was the emergency contact on my driver's license and wish you do not interrogate him. I hope you honor this dying man's last wishes and not involve him. I will be trying to change my emergency contact to my brother before the pain becomes too unborable from my teeth. Now, as for my brother Gary, I hold him in the highest of esteem as a father, husband, and provider for his family. His daughters are two examples of law enforcement's finest. Shannon, his third child, became the first female SWAT team member of Pope County. His second child, Dara, became a Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commissioner. When she was laid to rest, all police band frequencies in Palm Beach County were called to a moment of silence. Now, my question might be as to whether or not my brother would have any interest in what happens to my body. It matters to me not. If you could just tell him the fact his brother took his life because of excruciating tooth pain which was too unbearable and who could blame me. My mouth has been a minefield for years and a dentist was no option at the time. Being the black sheep of a very well accomplished family, he could expect no less from me. Okay now. Who was I in the matter at hand? I'll try to be brief. I was the gentleman whom told Peter Gabriel to leave the group Genesis and four months later to the day he released his swan song Salisbury Hill having left the band. He sings of our encounter as I was the eagle who flew out of the night. As for Phil Collins, I told him I didn't need or want his help in no uncertain terms. So, what did he do about me? He wrote a few songs about me, as I am Billy from Don't Lose My Number where you can hear him sing in only one chorus. Disappeared in a blinding light which was me exiting a backstage door which he didn't know was there and then having the blinding sun in his eyes. First time, last time we ever met met, was sung about the drowning man he would not lend a hand to, as in his song. In the air tonight. This is why you are the only one to reach out to from the grave. So, now what do you do with it? Of course you copy it, disperse it, and if you feel inclined to get it to local media. What I am asking you to do is simply be entertained and educated as you watch several videos in the Manifestos playlist at the top of my Mr. Purple Tie channel. I believe you will find them worth sharing with members of your team, friends, and family. What's the point of all this? They say it is best not to become famous before death. 
I believe my videos and life's experience will help many to fight in this spiritual battle. I'm throwing this Hail Mary to you in hopes that my life's work doesn't go to waste in these end times. Who would you wish to play your role in the soon-to-be-produced blockbuster film? The Escapades of Billy Stop laughing and start connecting some dots. Now that all my ducks are in a row, I'll be off now and know you are such a messenger of God with a one-half a terabyte of data to enjoy. Make it so as a mentor of mine would say. My pen is 3344 for laptop and phone, which in Earth code Jesus Blueprint. The way I see it, from pre-dawn civilizations till now, was delivered to them a Jesus Blueprint for civilization to live by. I just happened to stumble onto one of those editions. So, the mouse that roared is in your hands, pun intended. It's the pet mouse of the farmer in the dell. I am exactly where the father wishes me to be. I certainly know it is with my Lord. Stay safe and blessed. Sincerely yours, William J. Demarest, a.k.a. Mr. Purple Tie. P.S. The Blue Binder contains my book as well as what may turn out to be priceless artwork if you care about such things.